Hello everyone and welcome to another game between uh, Grandmaster Andrew Tang and uh, Leela Chess Zero. This is the second game planned in the time format uh, that is 15 minutes plus 2 seconds increment uh, as only two games were played in this format uh, in this match so I thought it'd be nice to show this one as well as uh, yeah, you, as you'll see even this is not enough time to face an AI like uh, Leela Zero uh, but it's a very interesting game because at one point uh, Andrew Tang uh, refuses a draw uh, well maybe it wouldn't be a draw but uh, he doesn't doesn't even want to attempt to go for a draw uh, and then at other point Alila also refuses a draw uh, but uh, you know for those of you who played the London system who enjoy playing against the London system I'm not sure if I, you'll find this game very enjoyable so this game Andrew has the white pieces uh, as in the previous one he, he was black uh, played against the scotch uh, he opens with d4 we have a knight to f6 and the bishop to f4 preparing the London system uh, e6 and e3 now we do have the London system c5 and uh, here we have knight to f3 and uh, c captures on d4. Here uh, Andrew said if Leela went for this uh, b, uh, b6 idea uh, that he had a very special thing planned with knight to c3. Uh, obviously this is, uh, this is a line he, he enjoys playing against uh, the London. Uh, 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 while playing the London against b6. Uh, I haven't seen this line but uh, for those of you who follow his streams often uh, you might be familiar with this. Uh, but after knight to f3, c captures on d4, we have e captures on d4, and now queen to b6. And Andrew was very disgusted by this queen to b6 move. Uh, he spent a lot of time on this move. Uh, it's a 15 minute game, uh, and he spent about 3 minutes on this move. Uh, and as soon as Lila played it, uh, he said, uh, why, why does she play this? No one plays this. Uh, now, your b pawn is under attack. Uh, he did have some ideas of going knight to c3, uh, but uh, he even he said that after she captures, she, she would simply crush him. Uh, so basically he said uh, he doesn't want to play queen to c1, but he will play it. And this is what he plays after some three minutes of considering. Uh, we have d6, c3, uh, bishop to d7, and bishop to d7 is a very strong move. Uh, preparing bishop to c6, uh, and also with bishop to d7, Leela is guarding the b5 uh, square, which is very important, uh, because Andrew did have some ideas of going knight to f3, followed by knight to c4. Uh, so, knight b to d2, uh, and uh, that's uh, kind of the reason. If he did go for this, then simply d5. Uh, the bishop now attacks the knight that is awkwardly placed on a3, and if you now, I mean, now you can go knight to b5, as now the bishop uh, is already guarding b5. So instead, he plays knight b to d2. Uh, we have bishop to e7, uh, bishop to d3, and bishop to c6. Uh, Andrew castles, and now queen back to d8. The queen is no longer useful on b6, so Leela brings it back. Uh, Andrew plays h3. Uh, with ideas that if this knight ever comes to h5, this bishop has a knight retreat square on h2, uh, so yeah, the knight will never be able to bother this bishop. Uh, h6, uh, we have rook to e1, and now b5. Uh, queen d1, uh, we have a6, and now queen to e2. Uh, knight b to d7, uh, bishop to g3, and now uh, Leela finally castles. Knight to f1, remaneuvering the knight, queen to b6, uh, with some ideas of pushing b4, uh, and here knight to e3. Uh, knight to e3 now b4 wouldn't really, wouldn't really uh, make much sense, because now you have knight to c4 attacking the queen and the d6 pawn. Uh, the d6 pawn is now attacked twice by the knight and the bishop on g3. Uh, you'd have to protect it, and then you'd simply lose the b4 pawn. So after knight e3, rook f to e8 by Leela, uh, rook a to d1, and here knight to h5. And uh, this is the first interesting moment uh, of the game. Uh, I mean, interesting uh, from the perspective that uh, a, a draw offer is kind of offered and kind of refused. Uh, bishop to h2 by Andrew, and now Lila plays knight back to f6. And here it's uh, it's very interesting what would happen if uh, Andrew went back for bishop to f4. Would, would Lila repeat knight to h5? Uh, now, I don't know if, uh, if Leela can decide whether to accept a draw or whether to offer a draw. Uh, maybe as maybe not, uh, we'd have to ask the developers. Uh, but uh, in any way, Andrew is not interested. Andrew plays bishop to b1. Uh, so we have queen to b7. Uh, now, creating this powerful battery, queen b7, bishop to c6. Uh, we have bishop back to g3 and knight to f8. And with this move, knight to f8, uh, Leela is now guarding the h7 square. And there is never any any real danger of this queen coming to d3 or c2 and, and pressuring the h7 square. Uh, knight to g4, uh, offering a trade of knights, and we have knight to h5. Again, Leela goes for the bishop. Bishop to h2, 
and uh, rook a to d8. Uh, we have knight to eight, knight to e3. Uh, Lila plays knight back to f6, uh, and we have knight to g4 once again. And uh, it's interesting. Now uh, Lila can uh, again go for a draw, uh, but now it's actually Lila that refuses a draw and plays knight captures on g4. Uh, we have h captures on g4, and now bishop to d5. Uh, here, Andrew was already very low on time. I believe at this point he was around uh, one minute, and uh, Leela was at some si six or seven minutes on the clock. And it's not all that simple to find the move here for black. And Leela plays bishop to d5, and it's a very, very, very strong move to make, especially when white is very low on time. You have to, you always have to consider bishop coming to c4, and uh, it's, well, it's not all that easy to find a move for white either. Uh, we have bishop back to g3, queen to c7, and now knight to d2, uh, no longer allowing any bishop c4 ideas. Uh, but uh, Queen to c6, and now bishop to e4, offering some exchanges. Uh, a5, uh, we have queen to f3, and now bishop captures on e4. Knight captures on e4, and d5. Uh, knight goes back to d2, and now, sorry, and now b4. Uh, Andrew plays c4, and here we have bishop to f6, attacking the d4 pawn. Uh, bishop to e5, defending, and immediately bishop captures. We have rook captures and knight to g6, attacking the rook. Uh, rook e to e1, and now queen to a4, uh, going for the a2 pawn. Uh, queen to b3, offering uh, a trade of queens and also defending the pawn. Uh, queen back to c6, and we have c5 now. Uh, we have e5, now this, uh, as this pawn advanced, now of course you want to attack the d4 pawn to make this pawn weak. Uh, queen back to e3, and now queen to c8, attacking the g4 pawn here. Uh, Andrew defends it with f3, and now we have queen back to c7. Uh, knight to f1, uh, with ideas of coming to g3, maybe to f5, uh, but also after this pawn captures here, uh, not to allow any queen to g3 ideas. Uh, so we have pawn captures, uh, queen captures, and now uh, rook captures on e1. Rook captures on e1, and uh, knight to f4. Uh, here, uh, Andrew was already, I believe, he was, uh, he was below, below 30 seconds, I would say, maybe, maybe even less, and Lila was still, uh, above, like, 6 minute mark. Uh, we have knight to e3, and, uh, here we have knight to e6, and, uh, it was in this position that, uh, Andrew Tang, uh, he didn't resign the game, but it was, uh, in this position that his time ran out, uh, because, uh, well, uh, ever since this move was played, uh, there's really no 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 move for white to make. Uh, black is threatening this with the attack on the queen and on the pawn, and there's really no good way to save this pawn. Uh, so Andrew tried knight to e3, uh, with the idea that if black knight moves, then he has a double attack on the d5 pawn, uh, but Lila played this just as well, and uh, here his time ran out. Uh, because here, after we move the queen, you simply lose the c5 pawn, and the pawn on d5 is defended twice, and uh, the idea of actually capturing it with knight captures, and now of course if black captures your queen, you will capture the queen on c7, this idea loses to the very obvious uh, queen to d7, uh, and you lose the knight. But, uh, you know, uh, so, 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 uh, that's what happens uh, when you're very low on time and have to make uh, a, lot, a lot of difficult decisions. Uh, so yeah, after this uh, knight to e6 move, uh, his r time ran out, and uh, it, it, in the rapid section, uh, Lila just 0 won both of the games. And uh, in case you missed my previous video, uh, here, are, here is the final score of this match. Um, uh, Lila won 40 points, and Andrew won 4 points, with, uh, and out of those points, as I've said in the previous video, he won one game. Uh, it was an ultra bullet game, uh, and uh, as a lot of you requested to see it, I, okay, I will show this game uh, as a bonus third video today. And uh, as of tomorrow, we can we can uh, go back to some uh, some official championships like the Shamkir and and the U United States Championship. So yeah, uh, that's the game. I do hope you enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, it's very interesting. I mean, even the first game and especially the second game, uh, Andrew really put up uh, an excellent fight, and uh, Lila really didn't show anything uh, anything special. And if he were, if it was a longer match, who knows? Uh, who knows if Lila could even win one game against Andrew? Uh, but they did say that if Andrew win, wins one game, that they will update Lila and that she will become even stronger. Uh, so he did win one game. It's it's. Uh, I, I will uh, follow up uh, on their Twitter page and uh, everything and see if they uh, will in fact upgrade her. So, yeah, that's uh, that's basically it. I would like to thank uh, Steven uh, Sarik for a contribution to my channel, or it could be Steven Charich. Uh, you can never tell. 
but uh, nevertheless thank you uh, for your contribution i really appreciate it uh, as usual you can check to my previous videos here thank you for watching uh, and i will see you soon with that uh, game where leela uh, blunders her queen thank you all